Welcome back guys. This is the Insta360 X4. And this is the Insta360 X3. And in this video, we're gonna compare the two cameras so that you can make a decision on which one's best for you. And if you're already an X3 owner, whether or not the X4 is worth an upgrade. How much bigger is the X4 well, to the X3? It's not actually that much bigger, but in hand when you're using them, they do actually. That it, it does feels actually a bit feel more quite weighty. Yeah, yeah, it does. I quite like that. Yeah, I do. Oh, there, there is quite, there is yeah, difference. There is, quite a difference. there is quite a difference. It's kind of like its younger sibling. Yeah, I like that though. And it's then, like the X3's grown up. It has like the X3's uh, yeah. grown up. Oh, proud parents of an X4. <laughs> I like the grip on it as well. Yeah, I like. It's the got grip. more of a grip. Yeah, the texture is very back. cool. Yeah, yeah I like that. Cool. An 8K. Yeah, well, obviously, the big difference, let's just get it out of the way, it shoots in 8K. Ah! <laughs> the era of affordable 8K 360 video is here. It's happening. It's happening right it's now. Happened. We're living it. <laughs> so, the obvious question is how does 8K compare with the 5.7K on the X3? Maybe we should go and find out. Well, let's find out. Now another big upgrade on the X4 is the addition of the 5nm AI chip, which should mean better quality footage even shooting at 5.7K. So let's check out the 5.7K footage from the X4 with the 5.7K footage from the X3 side by side. Awesome. See how they compare. Let's check it out Luna. Let's do it. So it looks like we've got a significant improvement even on the 5.7K video. Between and that footage as well will look a lot better because of the 120 change in bit rate to now 200 on the X4. Much better quality X4. 100%. Yeah. Another new feature that I know you like, hand gestures. Oh my gosh. They did it with the flow. That sold me yeah. straight away. But now Insta360 are doing it with the X4. You do love a hand gesture. I love a hand gesture. I do. So, stop. So, uh, so that's start and stop. You put your hand up. Oh, and isn't yeah. there a photo? There's a photograph there is. as well. Peace sign. Cool. So we get so peace sign to take a photo. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't have to stay with the peace sign. You can do the peace sign and then kind of get into your. Oh you know, right. Your okay. So the peace pose. sign yeah, activates it, it and does. then you get a second or two. Hundred percent. Well, wow, that's really cool. Love that yeah, this that is, is my cool. part of the video. I know all about. So obviously the 8K has followed through to the hyperlapse feature. So we've now got 8K hyperlapses. Wow. So let's check out an 8K hyperlapse from the X4 and compare it with a 5.7K hyperlapse from the X3. Loving the comparisons. Yeah, the comparisons. It's all about the comparisons. Oh my god. What? Has it got changeable lens guards? It has changeable lens guards. No way! Like even Luna's impressed! Come with it. <laughs> Oh, I get so paranoid about using the X3. That's been the big thing with the X3. The main gripe has been the lack of detachable lens guards from Insta360 for the X3. But as always, Insta360, I've listened to the user base, and we've got detachable lens guards on the X4. Not only do we have detachable lens guards, but they actually come packaged with it in the standard edition. Time-lapse. Yep, yeah, let's check out the time-lapse. So X4 time-lapse compared with X3 time-lapse. I think, yeah, the X4 wins on every point. And for me, for the extra, I mean, it's I think it's like an extra hundred dollars or something. It's a no-brainer. Yeah, it is a no-brainer. Shooting 360 video at 8K. Hand gestures. Hand gestures. Almost double the bit rate means, means much, much better quality exports. Changeable lens guards. Changeable lens guards is the selling point for Essential. me. That is the absolute one, yeah. The fact that you actually get some in the standard kit is just... Love it. Yeah, that's crazy. The overall feel just feels like an upgrade. Yeah, it well. does, yeah. I love it. 
like you say, the grip, the screen, the size of the screen, I feel, makes a real difference. Yeah. Even though it's only a little bit bigger. It somehow so seems much, yeah, yeah, it much seems easier huge. to use. Yeah. Oh, and we've also got Gorilla Glass on the screen now. We should mention that as well. So it's much more durable. I feel like it it just keeps coming. <laughs> it just, just keeps coming. Just we've keeps probably coming. missed loads of stuff as well because we just we're so excited to just compare the two. So anyway, if you want to grab an X4, there's a link in the description where you can get one, the best price with super fast delivery. Have we discussed audio? We haven't discussed audio. That's going to be the next video. So we're going to go out. Should we go out vlogging with it and use the internal audio? Definitely. All right, that's going to be the next video. Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. See you, See you next, next time. time. Bounce, 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 b